Ortiz Octagon, you know, it, it is a special moment. 32 foot, big arena, the crowd screaming, trying not to get too hyped up or too feared either, you know, I just keep a calm mind and go in and perform. And then when the fight is over, then I take it all in, you know, I look back on the walk in, I look back on everything, and I just realize that my dreams are coming true right now, you know, I get to uh, perform on the big stage with all these great people. I don't fear nothing, you know. I, I don't. I don't fear defeat. I don't fear victory. I don't fear success. I don't fear failure. I, I fear nothing, you know. I just live my life to succeed in this game. You need to be calm. You need to have that ego. You need to have that cockiness, you know, that edge that you are better than everyone and that no one can touch you no matter what. And I most certainly have that. I have that because of my mindset. You don't get that mental strength just by thought, you know. You get it by action. And and, and I work, you know. I work harder than most people. I, I put in the work, so that that alone gives me confidence. When I jump on the scales, it's a relief. I I'm celebrating, you know, I am victorious. I have won the contest. I have made weight. Now I can enjoy my field. Now I get to look at my opponent. Now I get to stare him in the eye. You know what I mean? That that's a great feeling, though. You can tell a lot from, from looking into a man's eyes. And I just feel I'm able to read what the contest is going to be like just by looking at them, just by seeing in them. I just feel I have a good read on, on, on people's emotions and what, what way people are, are thinking just by, just by looking at them. Sometimes I don't know why, why I fight, you know. It's, I'm just obsessed with it. The martial arts life, you know. I'm living the combat life and, it, and it's allowing me to travel the world. I'm a little kid from Crumlin in Dublin. You know what I mean? Combat sports and the UFC have allowed me to travel the world with this dream, you know, so I'm forever grateful for that.